What if I told you I stole an entire planet and got thousands of people to recognize me as the owner? Here's how I did it. Part one, the loophole. Owning a planet is illegal, but only if one specific country wants to own one. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 says that no individual country can own a planet or a star or whatever. But it doesn't say specifically that Thomas from the popular YouTube channel Tree State can own one. Does it? Doesn't say that anyway. So since I am indeed an individual and not an entire country, I can technically own an entire planet. And if all that still sounds impossible, I can prove you wrong by showing you one of my favorite scams of all time, which is the Star Shop website. If you ever wanted to buy a star, you would pull up to one of these star registry websites and spend a ridiculous amount of money for a piece of paper, a box, and extreme confidence that you didn't just get scammed. Look at this. For 60 pounds or 77 dollars if you use real money, you can buy this package which includes entry of your star into the registry, locating with our app, digital certificate and info pack, instant email delivery, choose brightness and constellation, optional star So yeah, pretty much nothing. The only things you get after you buy your star is a certificate, a map that shows you where your star is in the sky, and a bunch of other stuff that really doesn't need to exist. So these companies are selling an idea in a, in a piece of paper to people for a lot of money, and people are just believing that they own stars. Stars. Unfortunately, there isn't a buy a planet website, but luckily we can use the exact same logic that these star websites use to steal our very own planet. Part two, choosing and claiming our planet. So before we make a certificate and actually claim our planet, what the hell planet do we even want? We're gonna want one from our solar system because they're the only relevant ones. So we're gonna go through all nine of them. Yes, all nine of them. Starting with Mercury. Mercury is just like the, the sun's dingleberry. What? If I had a tier list or rated any of the planets in best to worst, it probably wouldn't even make the list. Then there's Venus, which is pretty cool. They took pictures of Venus, like the surface. Did, did anybody know that? It kind of just looks like... No. And then there's Earth, which is probably one of the better ones, but I'm not gonna try and own the entire Earth. I think I'll be assassinated. Mars is just like the most overrated one. It's it's so it's so boring. It's just red. Then we got Jupiter, Blue. the most giganticest planet I've ever seen. It's it's just big. You can't even go on the planet, so what what's the point? But then there's Saturn. Oh yeah. Saturn's pretty cool. It's got these fat rings that span for like years. It's the most erotic planet out of the nine. Huh? Your anus. Your anus. Your anus. And then there's Neptune, which is blue. Finally, the ninth one. The ninth one, yes, Pluto. Pluto is still a planet, at least in my heart. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it kind of sounds like I don't really like any of these planets, even though they are the best ones. So the planet I'm going to choose is Jupiter, because I forgot to tell all of you that I was lying before. Jupiter has always been my favorite planet. It's just the best one. It's got, like, this big red spot that's a, a giant storm. Like, who else is doing this out in the solar system? Like, who else? Who else? And, and it's... It's gotta be the one I choose. So now we have chosen our planet, it's time to claim it by making a certificate of ownership. Just like the ones you could buy for the price of a 77 inch LG television if you choose to finance it on Amazon. All right, this is how it looks. I, I, I snuck in a blue Saturn in the background, turn it, turn everything blue. Look at the outside, like this, this is good. This will be good. <laughs> We own Jupiter now! We have the, in, the entire certificate of ownership for Jupiter signed on this 8th day of November, 2024. Signed by International Planetary Accusa Accus Accusation. Certificate of Galactic Inquiry. It's here. I own a planet in the solar system. I do. Now that we officially own Jupiter, it's time to introduce the laws. These are just some things I wish we had about our world. Amendment number one, you can swear. Amendment number two. Everyone needs a different haircut every 30 days. And you can't use ones you've done before or else you'll be executed. Amendment number three. You are allowed to make jokes, especially really funny ones. Amendment number four. Everyone must build their own house. With help from the fellow citizens, of course. Amendment number five. If you somehow die on Jupiter, your body will be thrown into the Great Storm Greg. That's what the, the big storm's name is. His name is Greg. Number six. 
Netflix won't have that stupid rule where you can't share accounts anymore. And finally, number seven. Everyone that is subscribed to the YouTube channel Trees Day or any of my other accounts is considered a citizen. Besides the laws, I also made a beautiful flag. Look at that. It also represents the laws with the swearing emoji and such. But also I have created something that humanity has never seen. A planetary dance! Everyone must learn this dance. I don't know what it's called yet, but... All right, so now now that we have the laws and the flag and everything, it's time to get a population of people that recognize me as the owner of Jupiter. Part three, gaining a population. How do you become a ruler of a territory? You get some people to back you and you either inhabit an unowned piece of land or you just go to war and try and claim the land you want because you can. So this means that all we need are some supporters that recognize me as the ruler and CEO of Jupiter. And I have the perfect plan to do so. YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts are full of people that have an addiction to subscribing to channels, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. The seventh law says that if you're subscribed to any one of my channels, you are a citizen of Jupiter. So if we can push that message out into the YouTube Shorts realm, we can gain a ton of citizens really quickly. And if you didn't know, pretty much any time you post a YouTube Short, it's guaranteed to get like a thousand views if you actually make it good. So my plan is to make three Shorts telling people to subscribe to become a citizen of Jupiter and get at least like 250 citizens from the Shorts. So I started a brand new channel and went to work on the first short all right first video is done i don't know how well this is this is going to do i think this method should work for gaining a big audience but we're gonna see okay number one is posted so i'm uh i'm gonna go take a walk right now and then we'll see what it's at when i come back it's been an hour we're gonna check on the video eight I think we're gonna have to get it a little, give it a little bit more time. Sometimes shorts could take a little bit of time to get pushed out to people, so I thought I'd give it a night and check back tomorrow. Hi. The video last night didn't get any. View. It got 11 views. It, it was way too short. I'm gonna. I just re-edited it right now. Made it 17 seconds long instead of 11, and it should work now. It didn't. It got 61 views only. But I did get three subscribers, one of them was me. I didn't really know what to do at this point except make more shorts. So I grinded out a couple more shorts and posted them to the channel. And I even made a replica channel to repost the shorts to so I have an even better chance of getting views. I had six videos posted and all I had to do was wait until the views came rushing in. They didn't! None of the videos even got to 100 views. What am I doing wrong? I swear YouTube is suppressing me because they want to own Jupiter all for themselves. I don't know but it forced me to do something that I do not want to do, which is create and post a short on this channel. I don't want to post it on here because I don't want to spoil this video for the people that see the short. I don't want a ton of inactive subscribers from shorts viewers, and it would just be way too easy because my channel already gets some views, and a short would probably get a thousand views in no time. So I created and edited the short, feeling comfortable knowing that it definitely wouldn't fail on me. And then I clicked publish. This short needs to get views. I need citizens to recognize me as the owner of Jupiter, because if there isn't anyone, then I do not truly own Jupiter. I needed all my struggling to pay off in this one moment, this one video. It had to work. And then it was the next morning. It's time to check how we did. This didn't work. I don't know what to do. It's over, like it's over if this didn't work. How did that happen? I got negative supporters. Uh, maybe I didn't believe in myself enough. I don't know. I don't know how out of seven videos, none of them got any views. But in the end, my plan absolutely failed. I have failed to steal the entire planet of Jupiter. <sighs> Except that's absolute. <laughs> Because I still have one more video to post, which is this one. And the Seventh Amendment says that all of my subscribers are my citizens. And I've been blessed with all you people who have subscribed to my channel. So you are the ones that have made this possible in the end. So thank you. There's like 3,000 of you that own Jupiter with me. Even though I kind of forced that upon you against your will. <laughs> I hope that's okay. We are the only people to successfully own an entire planet together. 
So we have succeeded. But I have one more surprise for you. We also own the entire galaxy with this certificate. And the only rule is that nobody can steal Jupiter away from us. And also another surprise, we're the owner of the entire universe. So nobody can take our galaxy away. And also you have to click this video on the screen for more nonsense and have a day.